what we are gathered here today is to honor and share the work and ideas of the late Chandramouli Venkateshan. I had the fortune to have him as a friend, colleague, and fellow author at various points in our respective life journeys. During his career, there were a lot of firsts to Mouli's credit, and he also learned a lot from his experience. And he distilled this experience in his inimitable way into three books. These books went on to become bestsellers. The first book was Catalyst. The second book, which incidentally at Bitsom we prescribed as a text for the course which I taught on learning agility, getting better at getting better. And the third book, which is a book on managing people and managing teams and how to get the best out of your people transform, is being published posthumously. What I admire about Mauli is that Mauli has taken his own experience and distilled it into experiences and frameworks and constructs that are very usable by practitioners. At Bitsom, therefore, we thought we could get together a group of senior leaders who have worked with Mauli, like these ideas, to illuminate these ideas and bring them alive to a larger populace. We are doing this event because we believe that Mauli's ideas can help many leaders and would-be leaders to become more effective. If you go through his books carefully, you will also see that there is a humane concern for the employee that underlies many of these books. And that is also something that we want to celebrate and we want to bring to the fore. So I'm very happy that we are doing this. Reading Transform, he's tried to do something uh, which is really quite difficult, which is all of us have formed our own working theories of how to manage people, motivate teams, and how to lead. He has taken that and distilled it into a structure. And there are many nuggets there that will make even the most seasoned leaders stop and think. And um, I'm just going to give you two. So one very simple one, he says, separate the performance from the performer. How often in our organizations do we make the mistake of saying he is a bad performer? And that is a mistake because who are you to call somebody a bad performer and define their identity, right? What you're really saying is that performance over a period of time has been not been as per your expectations. Because when you're calling him, a, him or her a bad performer, you're making a permanent judgment, which you don't really have the power to do. And that is a point that he makes beautifully. The second point there that I really thought was a very nice one is he says, when you, why do you do reviews? You do reviews to solve problems. You do not review individuals in review rooms because if you want to review somebody individually and give them feedback, and largely if that feedback is not so positive, why don't you do it one-on-one? -on -one? Because the intent is to develop the people. And finally, you know, I want to close this by saying he ends the book by talking about authenticity and saying what kind of a leader you want to become. And he finally says that the kind of leader you want to become is related to the human being you want to become. Because in the context of leadership that he's talking about, he's saying, how do you impact people who don't see you, whom you don't work with? I mean, if you are a CEO, you might work directly with 20 people, but there are thousands of salespeople and thousands of retailers. How do you impact their behavior? And one of the elements there is that you do that by being authentic. And by authentic, he's saying that the leader you are and the human being you are must come together to take leadership to a higher level.